They are a really good test tonight for all people who like the tricks. I'm going to see you on this team that are Slogan and Champion Royal and League. Now, last year, other uh, teams, it was a short and scanty race. Like the coronavirus pandemic and stuff. They are not defending champions. They played very, very well. They are a veteran team, Josh. All of the championships are a lot of very easy. They played so much back from the line. So, in the Southern Flurry, and we saw these in German Spirit. They are playing very good. They're lying in the current. But you see, we can text this again. And then they go to the Stephanie said, Hey, you need to do this. And it's going to be this. So she's moving out as an athlete here on the bar side. This is meant for games in early March down in Georgia, basically. We'll step aside here from the Memphis Valley Anthem, the Hatcher, and the River Dragons coming up next. Thank you. Almost wet Gretchen here in Danbury. I'm actually speaking to that for both her brain and computer. Getting Courtney Pinnell back after a nine game absence is huge. As is Corey Anderson. He missed the game Saturday in Watertown after suffering an injury early in the game Friday in Watertown. So this is really missing two games. It's only just the one game that he missed. I am the Swiss bank and I'm a fan of the Also, Nicole Lopet. And so, Turkey has her state since uh, Lee Terry. And Steve Brown is back on defense as well after missing three games uh, with an Achilles injury. So, he's back. So, but the reinforcements are here for the hat tricks tonight. And they're going to be needed against a very, very good Columbus River Dragon team. Hat tricks on the Brickside. Set up the 
are underway here in Greenlander. It's not why and we go and we get it had some chemistry the last time they rode together and this building a couple months ago against the leaks ago or the things in and that he got to have to not not in the room and then they don't want some good for our thanks all the way to the world and they like that now but that's like the now from and it goes all the way through and that's the thing that plays its own how are you or jeans and it goes not 30 times Okay, now I'll play with them. Far wing. 1922 going first. Early on, here's Steelers. Trying to get the work and work at the urban. Absolutely. Gets full temp with Danny McBurney. He makes the start. He's a lucky guy. Him out. Bought her. Three good pitches. Nine up, four down, and three overtime matches. A very, very strong 3.19 goes against Outrush. That's not good. It's in its own zone. Great. Oh, it's just a quarter run. There's no facing that by. Beat the salvo in the hat tricks tonight. Three games so far for the hat tricks. Two and one. Sitting in the state for second. State for real stuff. Absolutely. Of course, his first start in this building. I backstop shut out. 31 seats shut out. Last Thursday, get the water down. The next night, he's on the long end of the shutout as the Hatcheriks would blank in Watertown by the score of four by teaching five pack in the mountain. So, Jimmy went and had a chest on tracks and said, Bullies here. Yeah. A certain amount of games in the week, and uh, according to the league statistics, uh, being the party and the best balls against average in the league and best save percentage in the league so far this season. He has been very good, has played most of the time that Jeff Leftwich was the bowling when they won the championship last season. One of the, one of the better defensive teams in the league than the guy. Sits top of the it's really Columbus and Watertown. They can the and the the Absolutely. And, you know, guys, the other day, he feels really good about the hatcher at Bolton being now. He really thinks it's in a great place with DeSalvo and also Brian Wilson, who's serving as the backup tonight. We will see Wilson this weekend, but likely to see DeSalvo pitch and stands in the three games here. But well, on that side, it's not a kick to win. No, no, no. Play it into the catcher. It's that bad. I want beats over there. Turn it to the run spread. Beat score to Tom Meeley. Shot tipped over the back. Get in there, boy. Yeah, so beat down well. Then he went by the front. I can't get in. Let's slide it in. Find the front. Turn it off the five boards, Price Frank, get it off the wall. Got off the box in the corner. Tom Rainey in there, pinching four at a time. Keep it in for the hat tricks, but it's done. We can't wait to send them. Shot in on it for seven. Mama, you go on. Seven, seven, and on the first. No, seven, seven. Absolutely. Can you hear me? Congratulations. They like her. Absolutely. This is the first game of the season, but for uh, the best of reasons, to say the least. And we can send us out congratulations to the big old fan. Just shut up. He's for a towel. Just hold down the foot there. What do I have to do? In the Danbury zone, you know, one tip top and bottom there. It's steered off of the lines. Turn right back down the line. So we're back over there. I tell you, up, and then the minute circle, get out the center. You know, racing to the offense, they don't take it up. I don't know how to do that. Then the corner. He goes, number four, 
First meeting of Manuel Jim Finn and Sir Minister Sir Hagel Rich So Trusted Lesson. I'm at Glenn and created the Senate. Back in the end, San Antonio with the maturity of the chances. So come in his hand. Under one, get into that semi glove. Down back. Steve Brent, all in the middle. At her 10. I'm the man. Dolly steers up the car board. Got down there, like the eyes and. That guy on the left, right in front, I'm in the stop button, and the top. It's clear, so I write that thing, and he said, and this is top of the left. Push it down, put it into the corner. That guy took the left hand, and he's up, and he's thinking, and he's going to take over. And that's my turn, and I'm going to say, and he's going to come in, 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 he was sitting back on the day, Tony Jimison, and Steve Brown, and he enjoyed it. I said, it's clear. Get right back in by France, get it aside. Columbus will help what? What a sin. Yeah, leaving for him. Columbus will leave the country gone, right? The giants. In the breadbasket, but it's sad for what? What's really mad at the bread? It's really mad. God, I, I really like that last scoring opportunity where Anderson wins upon the battle and he carries it back around the neck and he zipped the pass right onto the stick. And he just bits down into the right. And then I just straight away and come on with a quick shot. And he's not thinking for him that. A lot of good things happening in that opportunity for Denver. But he takes there. And this is one back button, six for two again. Yeah. 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 Let's try to go to work here with Doug. He's a guy on the piece. That's for Antonio. Comes a call. Come back and deploy the doors back. To send off. No, he ain't. He's not mentioned to take over on the center. Send off. Double right back in front of him. Look at him. He's down to the other end. He's blue center. He's going to have to face down. I don't know what you do. 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 I do in the first, and we will step aside here in Danbury School. It's really open. ストーリーを選んだのは、ジェネラルケアとダンスクリエイティブ。ロシーダンケイ。で、ディレクターのトニー・ボスさんとのライクチュー。ディオフィシャルチームのジェネラルミスセンター。フォージェンダリーハンフ
then crack the soup again with the tea, and we might see it back in the lineup sooner rather than later, but it's out tonight for a 12th consecutive game. He's been still involved with the team with the Memphis. And see so the top here at least. His leadership has not been lost. It's just to kill our lives about Phipps and Levette. They're done. And Phipps got the two. Get the fuck out, right? There's a second of the first song. Then I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to lead. It's the two men to help. 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 Back with him on the side of that underrated thing. The eye is a slip in the middle of the top of the bar. I think so. Bring him back. I start. Set the clip in. So it's the first one. By the salvo. And set him in the guilty end. Our life has more than her. You know, I meant that's a smart play. That's a so smart play by the salvo there. Caught them sitting clubs and nobody really around it. And you know how much Salvo likes to play the button in motion. But he knew that the penalty kill was have been out there for 40 seconds, stuck in their own zone, and he wanted the change for his team. Smart play by Gasell. Trick still on the kill here. Fet Fans on the hill. Beans down the line. Something like that. It's been a little bit short. So what happened? It's clear. It's just someone stays in the zone. Down the line in the corner. Take the away, and it's right. They're signed. So I was able to work it free. Take me right. Look down under the circle. Near side, Petra Antonio. Put him in the wall. Paint to the corner. It's like, how you want to capture a car? And go back to Bersani. Left circle. Fight to the cross. And seven over. Hands over against the season. And let it slip down. Just go off. South third plane. Second left. It's still on the ground. That's the first thing. Just over the top of the here in the school. Now, Spectre and Sonia were sitting up and spraying him, trying to hold them to the south of there. He's the guy to watch on the power play. He's second in the lead with eight power play goals. He was still a little bit more than nothing. But Frank Henry, the one in Michigan, all I want to do is a little bit what going on in that sequence, Josh and Tony were trying to zip, almost trying the zip was pushing. Why did it fall against it and it dropped the boat? I don't know if he thought against it or he couldn't, he couldn't quite get the, the feel. The puck wouldn't come up into it. So, yes, I'm going to get a talk. What? I'm going to get a talk. The back in the top line with the lead with the left out, or they can really eat some what's in the first. And those things, they will go off the penalty. That's Antonio tips him by. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll turn back here. He's on John all the way around by Ivy. Damn, I'm a clear. Is it pure? Yeah, it's pure. Fine, that's it. Yeah, it's pure. 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 Yeah, I'm right back in the back side. At the Hattrick's Mall. 11 and a half to go on the first. Spoils. Just that. Okay. 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 Right, it's not in the first mention here in Apple and Steve Baylor, but it's out of stock, rather than it's injured. It's I don't know if I say the hospital walker is back home, all in the third book, where new thing right here. Yeah. 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 But the point here is you will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You will never have a chance to do it. You
Yes, and it's a big arranging six to five for defensemen. No relation to former NHL defensemen. So it's Patrick's the Columbus, you're going on. You're the journal. I'm heading up for the end of the night. I'm not going to do it. It was. The Columbus. Well, that's sick. Jerry's sick. Well, where are we here? Today. Columbus end, right back into the hatchet zone. Taken by Dean Berry, we back up the right side. We send stuff at the wall. Black cross changing out. They are on the upper side. All of a sudden, he's able to clear it. Ops are right in range. The room dog will come up with the pirates and let it part of it. I didn't have to go in the first. Salva off the balcony. The answer is to it, Levette. Stretch it across the left point. Okay. Left to you. Enter the zone, but I stopped at the red bottom. Gallagher turning around in his own zone. Who's scribbling now? Oh, okay, and you're away. Back in the chip descent. The lead chase over there, but he's right now. He bought first time. On his second attempt. You know, five to play in the first, and there's still first. And then, Riddle Dragon. Steve Brown. The problem is just so retreat, so uh, I'm going to bank it on out. We're going to go where it's too grand. I'm feeding to make the hole on the outside. Tip to the center. Didn't get that open, but did get the center. It was the one that comes right back home. Well, he's in the camera. Back to McDonald. Comes up to OJ. They cannot leave the zone. It's betting on goal. Well, that will be stopped by the salvo. It may have to go up in the first. No score here at Dan Barry. It, I think it might have just been my level. Maybe it should not be. Maybe it be a general. We got a great call in there. And you would be there to make a show of living on a bad group. We'll go with a merit. Make sure there's a good girl. I know it. 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 So it is 36 still of a season. I was like, actually, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to have some years. You can't do that on the other. So, or, you know, Columbus was able to clean up the uh, rebound. Back in the hatchet zone here, I'm getting pretty soft. I'm going to have to go out for a few hatchets, struggling to get out of the zone in the last few minutes. When I was tipped to say, I'm out of the zone. I'm not just a recent area out of the zone. I'm not going to be out of the zone. But I'm going to just end it. You'll be a friend of me. I didn't see the word that. Yes, I'm away from it. Like, it's two minutes, but I didn't see uh, Walter. I, I can see that that's only the kind of thing that gets Columbus. Yes, I was hit so hard for Mom, right? That his helmet went flying off. He actually went to the clinic. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some money. He's going to be able to get some Chance to take the leash all at the end. The first. Numbers really hurt. Yeah. Special change. So, 
Thirty-six. I mean, left. Power. You take a look at it right here. First shot gets blocked, but it comes. What comes right back to him? And yeah, he raced to no time. That luck came right back to him. And he raced with it. That's a good point. And again, 30 is in the top spot there. Because he thinks the shot's going to come for him, right, Josh? But it doesn't. It's blocked. So it's going down. And now he's trying to find the puck. And he's caught in between. You know, he's halfway from staying down and going back up. And the piece was so quick with the police after the puck came back to him. And he very soon Team High 36, the end of the season. Kind of ironic that just as we're talking about how the dead very Allenway has been struggling as a great and Columbus is the top end of the game. Patrick Staker, no time in putting the power play goal has to occur and every take of the nugget. So to put place off of them, I'm absolutely not seven. But Again, they completed that, you know, and took on the 30 getting caught in this thing because that first shot was blocked. But the clock went back to a range. This is to no time. And it tried to make it move. He just let it go immediately. The 30 had no chance to get it. It was the worst timer, but not on that. So down the rebound, left Gallagher and Bunnell with the assists. Oh, he started sixth of the year. It took right back to two all home tracks. I said, you know, you get a Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Reese, Bill Gallagher, and Manel, how are y'all doing? So, Justin, I uh, look to the left wing. Underwood beats it behind Manel. It banks out to the ball boards. Manel went the Mavericks and escaped the center. Austin Cross, I don't know how bad they've The arms stay down and both players tumble to the up. Then to the neutral bomb, Versailles carries across the Mavericks to Ottawa. Deep all the way around the top boards to the hip boards. Ran back to the point. Was that field goal stop with the puck, but it was turned back for a long. Then it's not a goal mark, and it's stopped by Ruiz. The shot went out tonight. Ruiz brought it in, and we'll list the carry out. He used to cross it up to Mango again. That's good in the zone. I don't know. Fire level 10. Burning with the blue bottle. Confused by the what I really want to do. Inside the other block, tips and goes just over the ball out as well. Jesso right in the corner, he turn it best. Far circle, oh, just he's right back down low looking for Jesso. It's turned right upon the board. And as he plays the puck out, he's got Trantoni on it, comes out for center ice. Gallagher turn it around behind his own net. Start to go on the bank for Jesso. I think a sense of my white and it's ready to draw. Go into the action, seven left, with another six to play in the first. So it's the first goal of the game, and the power play from Johnny Ruiz. Turned up the near blue rich, both hit the head, to Sanderson, but just off the zone, holding a left. Good. Keep it in at first, but OJ was able to find the loose front. Offensive end. Bernie Hurdman leaves it behind. With five and a half to go. The trick's being now shot, nine six, so it's five. Lead, one nothing. On the scoreboard, into the Dan very end, Tom banks it up the car beats. Tom Neely, along the field, now playing ahead. Two fire for Jackson, from St. Bernard, Hitchburg, Mason Wade, Dog. 
Right, the arm is now clearly bent. Oh, and then stopped by Jackson, runs over and tagged it. Mew, along our near circuit, looking out in front for his net salt, he's still kind of up close. And it's not good, because that side has it back on the far wing, cuts for a slot. If I might not, it's a and stuff. It's not that I tried everything that I'm trying. You could, you could just turn it down. That's really the only way it's going to solve it. I work with this all the time. Sorry, man. Today, it's not getting near it's so far, it's own it's 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 Tonio fires a shot on something. Up, all tip down, line, and she's as what would one line, one up and one line. With the C40 bell, the Dell Bagger line up, and the John Andrew needs to tap it again. The Dell Riding shot face with this. Johnny was telling me yesterday that he was uh, heading to the airport to pick up Nico Lebrag for some uh, some kind of a plane ride. Uh, and he didn't know where he was going. 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 He didn't know where he but also, when Benji getting moved back back and Benel, he's like, that will put the band back together again. We've got the whole time frame together. And he was really fired up uh, about it. When the top line came through, he ran power play to get the hatcher. It's pretty early. Really. OJ pulled to return over the lane on goal. Jim, so I'm trying to listen to that. And I'm on. OJ has it right back in the corner. Beat back in the gym. Another shot. Well, just so something that turns fire. Well. ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。
that puts in the head blue and white, wraps the right. Tom Elia dropped off into blue one, coming in the left circle, sit just wild, right behind the pier. Side of the moat, got a wall behind him, uh, just seeing him win it through that trip. Turn it behind, turn it on, well, then sit with him. His mitts are working the two that came from, but pull him out of the and three percent. 310 left, Gallagher from his own blue line, right back ahead to Tom Neary, he gets in his own and runs into the fourth, chasing after a wheel, but that's gotten in it. But comes back up to Ladera, tipped in front, but chase on the side, Look, goes back to the floor, filters it in line, back out to the far board, and then the net saw, coming down the arm, pass in front, stop, back to one, it's correct. Tipped up, not out, because that's up. And on the far circuit, comes through the slot. Up to the right point, Gallagher. Gallagher tipping from. I mean, we couldn't connect on that turn. We're able to make the save. Kept trying to tell you that. Now he's out to center. Off the glass and into the Hattrick zone with two and a half to go in the first. Hattrick's up one nothing, courtesy of Johnny Louise on the power play. Tando has the other lead here late in the first. Louise? He's going in, will turn around and start that up across to a zero. He will charge up the center. Means the red line. Tipping ahead, pulled him up. Well, he stood up. Columbus will take over. Carter, a drop of Patrick's in, right to left. The stop, right at the top of the circle. Go back. Center. Go back. Speed to the other way. 40 minutes, jumping in. Chasing after it, turn up the boards, out to center. 145 to go. John McDonald will play it the hell of a Steve Brown. Slides I am bouncing with a far forward in the corner. Is that there? That's it. Steve Brown. That's him chopping the fight out of it. Early on, not with the stage. Hands in his mouth. I'm going to get rid of it. It's not off. Soccer skill there for Frank Anderson. He's got that. He's back. He gets a shirt over here. But he didn't want to break. I was going to say hand eye coordination. I guess still working on it. Major yeah, yeah. straight to his stick, and then he got a quick shot. And boy, that was not an easy stop. He was very good. The great individual level there for the Rams. Looks. Shut up. Turn one. Let me just invite back to the corner. Columbus, and let's count it out. Up the right wing, to the hero, set, arms around, and launch along the glass. Turn behind the head to Salvo, always aggressive, playing up the board, ships it, goes not get it out. On the second strong, hand it to the near board for a time. See Brown chips it up the center, chips it up the center, chips it up the center, and you're not going to keep trying, but Columbus said, hurry. We're going to go in and jump back to look at it, see? A little bit of a in the first period. What do you Boards fall. He can just stop the numbers and turn up the mirror with rain. Round the lucky to lead him back down my old dip. Under the corner, in the seat, and the two seven feet from the kick chain behind for this. So, I'm going to get to the nurse and buck and we're going to this job. Senior. Go now. Lord Columbus, arm strong, all the way across. I got him in the right hand, and that's it. Set. Five friends, trying to work out in the front, he's the near lane, rank menace. 30 seconds left in the period, but the tail never went. Up the right, oh, the top of the line, drop the pound, nearly on the middle, and then put it out in front. Oh, God. To the slot. I am being Columbus net, taking it all the way through, and it had tripped so much. He's been playing, and he's off end. It'll be a pep. Had tripped with seven seconds left. First period. Benelli made it really great. Ripping no play there. I mean, really, it's a great sequence for the elements. And then he put play in front of his own net. You know, Tom Newman, great to go into the net. But Benelli has helped things around. And then he has a shit. Slam the same thing. Strip nearly of the puck. Strip nearly of the puck. Then came out with the other way after setting up behind his net. Goes coast to coast and ends up getting rolled down and draws penalty for 7.1 seconds to get it. Well, I'm victim to the famous Mike McNeely to get him a call here. He played him. He was seen the nice show. I'm not going to be able to do that. Sacks. 52 left of the power play from the longest. 
Ready for the second period of action here from Danbury. Josh Dar with Jim Cerny. The Hattricks leading 1-0 after one. And it was Johnny Ruiz getting the Hattricks on the board on the power play to end the first. But the Hattricks to the penalty kill here to start the second. Absolutely. And, you know, you can't downplay the importance of the three games this weekend, Josh. Uh, when you look at the uh, playoff structure in the FPHL this season, the first and second place teams are going to get a bye in the first round. And that's huge. You know, if you, if you don't have to, you know, play any extra games and you can, you know, heal up after a long season and everything, that's what you want. Well, right now, those two teams would be Watertown and Columbus based on points percentage. So right now, these games are huge head-to-head -head for Danbury. And three games here and then three games in early March down in Columbus, Georgia, where Danbury's got to find a way to pick up more points than Columbus did, does, uh, you know, and obviously with that have a better points percentage head-to-head -head so that uh, when those six games are done, it puts them in a better position. Uh, heading down the stretch you want to be first or second you know you don't want to have to you know kind of take a chance and play a lower seed in that first round the fewer games you can play Absolutely. to get deeper is the be is better yes and the hat tricks looking for that top two position here but columbus on the power play to start the second period vanelli works his way all the way around the hat tricks net 20 seconds in 90 seconds to go on the columbus power play bersani dropping back to the point white Goes across, far wing. Vanelli takes over at the left point. Will tip it down low. Petrantonio stopped along the far glass. It's Steve Brown. The puck pops free, though, by Brown, and Columbus will take back over. 1-10 to go on the power play. Vanelli feeds down to the corner, and back up high. Vanelli blasts. It's stopped by DeSalvo. That may have hit him in the mask. Sounded like it. And the hat tricks able to work out and down into the Columbus end. Halfway through the power play for Columbus. And the hat tricks back in their own zone here. Columbus carrying in on the power play. Far circle, Bersani out in front and tipped by Doe. It goes wider than that. Around behind, Steve Brown turns up the far boards. Levesque chops away at it, hops high in the air, trying to glove it down. It's Columbus to keep it in. Graham along the left circle, walking his way in down low. Cuts to the front of the net. It's poked away by DeSalvo. And Levesque will race out, but turns it over before he gets to center. Along the far wing, Grant Mentis back to the point. Feeding down low. Columbus back to work with 10 seconds left on the power play. Up high. Carter back to Graham. His shot rips wide. And the Hattricks clear up the glass and out to center. And out. Danilik is out of the box. Now, he almost intercepted the pass ahead from McBurney, but Columbus will carry into the Hattricks end. Two minutes into the second, one nothing Hattricks. Able to kill off the early penalty here in the second period. Turned along the near boards. Hattricks looking to converge on the puck in the corner. Finberg barrels in, and the Hattricks come away with the puck behind the net. Working up the far boards, Ojik. Had the referee somewhat in his way, so he drops back for Gallagher, who outlets to center. Columbus takes it right back in. Anderson walking by it. Gallagher sealed off. The puck turned up to Riley. Walks down low, and the puck back to the point. White blasts one. No traffic in front, and DeSalvo able to, able to make the stop. 240 into the second. one nothing. Hat tricks on top. I would say I like that move there by White. You know, he kind of deked Jesso. Jesso thought that he got himself in the shooting lane and probably had an opportunity for a block and, and maybe with the block, you know, take it the other way on a, on a breakaway or a partial break. But White made a really good fake and Jesso ended up sliding on by him and then White was able to risk a shot on net that DeSalvo was able to gobble up. Patricks win the draw but can't clear once again. A similar issue to parts of the first period here for the Hat Tricks. Daniluk up the far side and it's swatted the center. It will go all the way down. Icing waved off. Hat Tricks go to work on the four check. It's turned up the near boards and Columbus able to get out to center but they ice the puck and it will go right back to the River Dragons end. Just over three minutes in, one nothing Hat Tricks here in the second period. 
Patrick's yep. go to work in the offensive zone here. Yeah, we mentioned, uh, you know, this three-game series, how important it is. Every Danbury home game is important because you expect them to win. They're 16-2-0 at Danbury Arena this season. So, you know, any time that they give up points here, if they don't win, it's, it's a major deal because they've been so dominant on home ice. The only defeat coming to Watertown at home. Yeah, Columbus, Columbus trying to change that here tonight, but Patrick's looking to remain unbeaten against the rest of the league here in Danbury Arena. Daniluk at center, upended. It will be a penalty against Columbus. DeSalvo heads off to the bench for the extra attacker, but right when he gets there, it is touched up. Patrick's head to their second power play. First one was successful in pretty quick succession. They'll see if they can do it again here. Yeah, absolutely. They, they got the job done quickly. And the power play is brought to you by Ferrer Electric. You need power. Pete is going to light you up. Dependable, reliable, and services you can trust. Pete Ferrer and his team get you the juice to turn you loose. Light them up at FerrerElectricLLC.com. Patrick's win the draw, a pile effect, the one-time shot from the slot. It tips high in the air over the net and taken by Columbus. Petrantonio walking his way out of the zone. Now will turn back and fire all the way down. 20 seconds into the power play for the hat tricks. Riley off for tripping. Four minutes into the second period, hat tricks on the power play, up 1-0. 90 seconds left on the man advantage, and Gallagher will slowly turn back behind his own net. Patrick's will start up the ice. Up the left wing is Gallagher on his backhand. Now feeds to Benell into the offensive zone. Vanelli lost his stick, and Benell's shot tipped up and out of play by Columbus. 116 left on the power play, 1541 in the second. Yeah, Vanelli not happy. He said, somebody knocked the stick out of my hands. Isn't that a penalty? The referee just skated away. I don't even think he gave him an answer. I think... Uh, there's a little collision there, and that's what sent the puck or sent the stick flying. Finelli trying to make the case. Patrick's remain on the power play, face off to the right of McBurney. Patrick's win the draw. Gesso comes in to take over. Kuznetsov across Lazaro, now Anderson, and the Hattricks are set up on the power play. Lazaro to the near wing. It's Kuznetsov working his way back up high, feeds right across the blue line, and Lazaro will swat it deep for Gesso to turn it behind the net. Ojik there, looking to muscle it free behind, and pops in the air, far boards. Underwood able to backhand it and shovel all the way down. 45 seconds to go on the power play for the Hattricks. DeSalvo letting that puck get awfully close with Graham pressuring him, but able to play it up, and the hat tricks will work to center. Kuznetsov across the blue line as he's being upended, and it's cleared up to the high part of the zone. Gesso feeds across. Anderson will rip it, and he scores! <laughs> off the back bar and out. The hat tricks lead 2-0. Two, two power play goals tonight for Danbury, and 5-0 into the second. Danbury extends the lead to two. Corey Anderson. Yeah, it's goal number 23 on the season. That was a snipe from the right circle. And boy, as soon as that puck went in and out, it came out so quickly, and Corey immediately saw the referee, and he's like, that's in, that's in, that's in. He was making sure that he was not going to get cheated out of that goal because it came out, you know, in and out so quickly. And there we see the end of it. Try to get that yeah, one more let's time. See if we here. can see it again. Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's hard to see it perfectly there, but certainly Corey Anderson had no doubt in his mind that that one was, you know, in and out properly, and you know, no argument from Columbus either. You know, no argument from McBurney. And how about that, Danbury, who has been struggling. Or which has been struggling on the power play two for two tonight against the top penalty killing unit in the league and that's the difference in the game here two nothing early in the second period Anderson gets the goal from Kuznetsov and Gesso and 
the hat tricks lead 2 0. Walking right back into the hat tricks, and it's Columbus. Pass back to the point, and Mealy intercepts. Turned in front. Finberg crashed into McBurney. The puck comes out to center. And yeah, McBurney is giving an earful to the uh, back official right now. DeSalvo all the way out of his net. Going, things going on in both creases. We'll step aside as DeSalvo covers up. 2-0 hat tricks, 5-39 into the second period. TK's American Cafe on White Street in Danbury. Stop by TK's and try one of their 76 amazing wings flavors. My favorite, the Gold Rush. Yours, Josh? Also the Gold Rush. Man, you are just... Now, I'm a big honey barbecue guy. Yeah, I, I like it yeah. a little sweet, too. I don't like it when it's on fire. That doesn't work for me. But if you like it on fire... TK's is the place to go. 76 amazing flavors. www.tksamericancafe.com Patrick's through the neutral zone. I ruined your fun. <laughs> yeah, you always do. Yeah, it's 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 just fun. It's it's fun for me to do that to you. So. <laughs> yes. Glad I, glad one of us is having a good time. I gotta look out for myself. You know? <laughs> always. Patrick's in their own zone here. DeSalvo behind the puck. Off of a body inside of the net, Patrick's able to turn it up the far boards. Taking to center, Ruiz off to the left side. Bunnell stepping by one and gets into the offensive zone. Ruiz feeding Levesque, looking out in front, and it was stopped by Columbus. Back to the point, Lazaro, left side, feeds all the way down low. Levesque off the boards, bobbled it, and it's turned around in the corner. Behind the net, Levesque powering toward the puck, looking back for Bunnell, who was going off for a change, and Columbus will take over. No one ahead up the far bank, far boards for Gallagher to intervene, and the hat tricks take over in their own end. Gesso feeding right in front of his own net, but Lazaro there to play it forward. Carter takes over inside his own blue line and chips to center. Gesso couldn't keep it in, so he'll have to peel back. Columbus inside its own end. Ahead, Carter for Graham. And it's deep into the hat trick's end. Turned all the way along, far side, behind the Danbury net. Spun up the boards. Gesso can't control it out to center. Turned right back down low. Grant Mentis along the right circle. Stopped by the hat tricks and taken out to center. Turned right back. Graham at the left circle will rip it. Stopped by DeSalvo. He swats away the rebound from out in front. To the near boards, the hat tricks still unable to clear. Underwood keeping it alive. Now Danbury works to center with Ojik up the right wing. And a penalty is called. That one was behind the play. And is it Corey Anderson? Looks like Corey Anderson's going to head to the box. And he's not happy about it. Well, the officials have been getting earfuls from both sides here in the last couple minutes. But Anderson is the guilty party at 7.34, so a chance for Columbus to get back in the game. Got a scoring change on the first Danbury goal from the first period, Ruiz's power play goal. Scratch Gordy Benelli does not get the secondary assist and now goes to Nico Levesque. So Levesque with 16 points in his first nine games this season back with Danbury. Hattricks to the kill, the Cybers penalty kill, and Columbus works down low. Hattricks have found some magic when Levesque in the lineup with Benell and Ruiz. And Dave McIsaac thrilled to have them all back as DeSalvo makes a save through traffic in front. Hattricks 15 seconds into a kill, 12-11 in the second, and Danbury's up 2-0. And then the second goal also on the power play early in this second period. Anderson is 23rd, his sixth on the power play from Gesso and Kuznetsov. 
Work back to the point. Vanelli feeds Doe in the corner. The hat tricks intercept, and McDonald able to clear. Turn back into the hat trick zone. DeSalvo off the high glass near side and topped off along the boards. Petrantonio back to the point. White walks the line and feeds across. Vanelli and White play catch. Vanelli works down low now. Doe out in front trying to roof it. Stopped by the right leg of DeSalvo pinning up against the post. Then it's right back into the corner. Halfway through the power play for Columbus. White along the near point. Back down low, Petrantonio, the shot in the slot. Bersani stopped by DeSalvo. Bersani all alone in the slot on the power play, that bumper position, and the hat tricks goaltender able to come up with the stop. Yeah, that was, that was probably the best setup that Columbus has had on the power play. If there are three power plays, it's exactly as they draw it up. Uh, getting the puck from uh, Petrantonio uh, into the slot, as you called it, exactly the bumper position to Bersani, and Bersani got it ripped off a good shot. Uh, and again, coming up big is DeSalvo, who's made 15 saves on 15 shots to this point. 53 seconds remaining on the Columbus power play, and the faceoff will come to the right of goaltender Peter DeSalvo. Played out to center. Patrick's able to stop at the blue line, and carry forward right to left Jesso shorthanded 35 seconds left on the kill he's stopped as he pesters Grade who tried to draw the penalty on him but it is taken right back into the hat trick's end all the way down in the neutral zone back into the hat trick's end 15 seconds to go on the kill Grant dropping into the corner and coming to the point. Underwood feeding in the slot. Leaves it off to the left circle. Anderson out of the box. Bobbled by Great at the point. Still kept in. Patrick's get the kill. 10-20 left in the second. 2-0. Anderson turning it up the far boards. Levesque will take over and feed it right back to Anderson who gets stopped at the red line. Patrick's right back. On defense here, Riley drops back for Nolan, and now the Hattricks have numbers the other way. Three on one. Tom Mealy on the far side is passed in front, blocked out, and played to center. Gallagher will flub deep into the offensive end, and Columbus will find it. Bank to center. It's a pass ahead for Graham, just out of his reach. He'll go behind the net. Along the near side, Hattricks. Come away with the puck off the wall. Brett Jackson skates to center on the left side. Tom Mealy into the offensive zone. Mealy all the way across. Right side, Kuznetsov, the shot tipped up and out of play. And we will take a break here from Danbury. 9.33 to go. 2-0 hat tricks in the second. Hat City Physical Therapy is the physical therapy provider for your Danbury Hat Tricks. Their facility is located on Federal Road right here in Danbury. Hat City Physical Therapy, uh, therapy is owned and operated by the medical director of the Danbury Hat Tricks, Dr. Lee Day. Dr. Day and his staff provide outstanding physical therapy care for a range of diagnoses and problems. Give them a call for all, all of your orthopedic and physical therapy needs. We have the Matrix on the video board right now. Excellent. I would have won movie trivia tonight. Patrick's and River Dragons here. Nine and a half to go in the second period. Two nothing, Danbury. Leading two power play goals for the Hattricks tonight. Uh, the difference in the game. Fed deep into the Hattrick zone. DeSalvo out of his net will play it off for French. Far wing, Daniluk 
will trek up the ice and up the left wing, tipped in by Bennell. Rims all the way around the far boards to the point, and French will able to keep it in. The shot through the slot, tipped all the way out, and now the hat tricks might have an odd man rush against. It's Petrantonio feeding out in front, and it was in too deep, and DeSalvo able to make the stop. 8.48 to go. In the second, Hattrick's on top 2 nothing. That could have been bad. He had a teammate streaking Petra Antonio, but it was, the pass was right in on DeSalvo. Yeah, and I think you got to give Gallagher some credit for that there. Uh, he was playing Petra Antonio really tight. He was with him stride for stride, and he has a long reach. And Petra Antonio kind of had to feather it up ahead, try and lead uh, his teammate to the net. He just did it too far, and I think partly because of Gallagher. Good, good stick work by Gallagher there. Patricks can't win the draw. It's Columbus along the far boards. Taken down low, Petra Antonio leaves for Bersani. Out in front, it's a battle in front of the crease. The Hattricks shoved down Petra Antonio, and that will be a penalty. 8.20 to go in the second period. And the Hattricks ahead 2 nothing, but interference called against Gallagher. And the Hattricks head to the Cybers penalty kill once again. Indeed, the Hattricks penalty kill is brought to you by Cybers. Cybers is a worldwide gaming clan here to bring you a world of entertainment in gaming. Support them on Discord and Twitch TV. I can't keep sending this team to the power play. Third best power play in the league. Danbury, though, has done a really good job, I think, on the penalty kill so far. Not only three for three, but really limiting the chances against. Columbus able to win the draw out in front. Bersani feeds across, and Petra Antonio couldn't handle the pass on his backhand. Just like that, right when you say that, that's a big chance. That shot tipped wide, and now Columbus set up on the power play here. Along the near boards, Doe taking it off the wall and feeds up high and tipped out to center. Columbus working through center into the hat trick San Bersani on the right circle. And passes down low and it's all the way through the goal mouth. Petrantonio in the far corner cutting out to the slot and it's tipped away by Steve Brown. Bersani right back on the puck in the corner, 40 seconds into the power play for Columbus. And pass across from the near boards, tipped out. Ruiz able to get a stick on that. Bunnell there too to intervene. Columbus right back in, far circle, Grant Mentis. Pokes the puck along into the corner. Feeds all the way out in front. Graham had it, his stick tied up by McDonald or else he would have had an open net. And the hat trick's clear. Halfway through, the penalty against the hat tricks and that puck tips out of play. With 7.09 left in the period, 50 seconds left on the kill. Good play there by Johnny McDonald. You know, a kid, a rookie who's come in and played very, very well offensively. He's put up good numbers. He's got some good offensive skill. And the question with him was, how would he adapt as a rookie, not the biggest guy, playing the defensive side of the game? And, you know, I think he's been surprisingly very, very good. And certainly that was a very good play right there. Hat tricks with 35 more seconds of a penalty kill. Graham in the far corner. Up to Grant Menace and up high in the zone. Nolan across. Grade plays down low. Up to the point. Turn back into the corner. Graham will circle there. 20 seconds left on the power play. To the point, Grade feeds right back down to Grant. Side of the net, hammered all the way across the goal mouth by Underwood and through to the other side. Patrick's looking for the puck in the corner. It's Daniluk who shovels up, but it's gloved down by Graham and kept in. To the left circle, his shot ripped down, and the rebound try side of the net. DeSalvo able to slide across and stop it. A battle behind the net as the Hattricks get their man out of the box and complete the kill. 6-10 to go in the second period. Hattricks ahead, 2-0. Able to kill off that penalty. Levesque into the offensive zone. Left circle fires high and wide. It bounces off the glass and out to center. Brown crunches Graham against the boards as he dumps into the Hattricks end. McDonald will retrieve there. Under six left in the second. McDonald right to left. Offensive zone drops for Tom Mealy. Feeds all the way through the slot, and Kuznetsov couldn't reach it. Back to the point. Jackson back across. Swatted out of the air by Columbus. Now McDonald drags into the center, and 
His shot stopped and cleared all the way down. That will be icing against Columbus with 5.32 left in the second. And you know, we just mentioned Johnny McDonald there. Bigger, that was a really good move. You know, he dragged the puck right around the defender and kind of opened up a shooting lane momentarily, uh, though the shot ended up getting blocked. Now we get a face-off to the right of McBurney in the offensive zone for Danbury. Hat tricks. Win the draw, play down low into the far corner. Columbus there first, shoveling all the way down. This one will be in on goal, so no icing, and DeSalvo will play it off to the side for Lazaro. Behind the net, Gallagher scoops to the far boards, and Kuznetsov will rainbow to center. Flagged down at center by White and turned right back to the hat trick's end. Gallagher along the far corner, turning back in his own zone. Behind the net, Lazaro, and the hat tricks will look to break out. Five minutes to play in the second, over skating Kuznetsov, the puck hops in the air, swatted down by Kuznetsov, and Jackson will skate out across the red line, off to the sideboards where Tom Mealy will steer in deep. The pass out from McBurney, deflects out of play, and that will be a timeout here in Danbury Arena, two nothing hat tricks late in the second. Well, Josh, the series continues tomorrow night right here at Danbury Arena. Same two teams, Danbury Hattricks and Columbus River Dragons, and it's alumni night. And a lot of uh, players that have played not only for the Hattricks, but the Titans and the Trashers and the Whalers and the Mad Hatters, you know, all invited back uh, to join in the ceremonies for the first Ring of Honor, honoring Jim Galante, A.J. Galante, Nick Niedert, Matt Karansky, and of course, Hattrick's coach and former Trashers captain, Dave McIsaac. Get your tickets at DanburyHattricks.com. I am really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow night. It'll be a ton of fun to have the Galantes back in the building and some former players here. All part of building what is right now currently standing with the Hattricks, all of those teams having a big role in it. Here's Gordy Bennell at the left circle, a rifle one. It's stopped by... McBurney and played out. All the way into the hat-trick zone, 4.20 to go, second period. Petrantonio crashing into Lazaro behind the hat-trick's net on the four check. Puck comes to the point, Carter will take it off the boards. He fires off the post, it's behind, and the hat-trick swatted away through DeSalvo's legs and back out of the net. Inside of the post, not just the post, that was the inside. Columbus right back on it, down low. Bersani out in front. Levesque intercepts in the slot and will skate to center. And a penalty called behind the play against the hat trick. It's going to be a tripping penalty. That is going to be the fifth time tonight at Danbury is shorthanded. He caught a break there. DeSalvo was beaten cleanly by that shot. He looked to be screened in front. And it came right back out. You heard the clang from up here. That was the inside the boys post, boy. That was really close to being uh, the first goal that he's allowed in this building. He has not allowed a goal in this building yet. And of course, if one goes in here, you know there's only one person to blame. And it's not Peter DeSalvo. It would be me. Because, of course, I just gave him the kiss of death. But he's making his second start here at a shutout against Watertown last Thursday. And he's put up zero so far. You know, 37 minutes into this one. He's way out of the net to swallow oh, the puck boy. to the boards. I'm sure Dave McIsaac loves that. The hat tricks back on the penalty kill here in the final 340 of the second. Swatted wide of the net, bounces to the side of the cage, and it is DeSalvo to cover up on the far side. 16 seconds into the kill. Lazaro off for tripping. It was, Gallagher thought he was getting called. And yeah, he threw his arms up in the air. He's like, what do you mean? What did I do? No, no. It's your defense partner. It's not you. So Gallagher will take the 
ice here on the penalty kill. Ruiz taking the face off for the Hattricks against Graham and the Hattricks able to win the draw. Into the corner though, it's Columbus taking over the puck. Graham works it down low around behind and under Underwood. And the River Dragons take it right back up to the point. Great, fires wide of the net, it bounces to the side. Gallagher finds and clears for the Hattricks. 40 seconds into the kill. 3.15 left in the second. Danbury leads 2-0. First of three between the second and third place teams in the league. Graham into the Hattrick's end. Right circle, winding his way all the way down low. Now cycles back to the point. Vanelli across to White along the blue stripe. And Vanelli has it right back. Right point, feeds all the way to the far ring. Graham swats it down low. Stopped at the side of the net. Bersani playing right back up to the top. Bersani, left circle, ring to ring is Vanelli in the near corner, taking over off the boards. Feeding up high, Pet Petrantonio. Now Vanelli blasting one. It's blocked by Bunnell as he slid across, and the feet through the slot goes all the way to the other side. 30 seconds left on the kill for the hat tricks. White at the point, walks the line, cuts down to the circle, drops back again for Vanelli. Doe into the slot, Bersani leaving it there, back to Doe, left circle. Down low, behind the net, Petrantonio rebound in front, the shot and De Salvo able to slide across and shrug it out of play. Got a stop on it with his left shoulder. It was White who got the rebound. Bersani, or rather Doe taking the shot from the far side, it bounced out in front, the Hattricks goaltender there to make the rebound stop. That was two really, really good saves by DeSalvo. I thought the first save was pretty solid too, but then he had to shoot across, you know, the crease from right to left, and it caught him in the shoulder, and he stayed down there for a little bit. I think that one stung him, and you know, now he's trying to buy himself a little extra time, you know, getting some water, and I think that one stung him. Shot up high, caught him right underneath that shoulder pad. Matrix win the draw and clear to center. Eight seconds left on the kill. McDonald racing into the offensive zone. Well, just flutter in deep. Lazaro exits the box. Hattricks get the kill. Final two minutes here in the second period. Petrantonio speeds into the Hattricks zone. Weaves his way behind the net. Looking on the other side. Feeds out in front. Vanelli tips it wide. And Doe couldn't handle the rebound. The Hattricks come back right to left. Mealy across the red line and chips in. In the corner, crashing in is Kuznetsov. Couldn't control the puck. Petrantonio skates out. Pushes all the way to the left wing, and it's played in deep. Around behind the Hattricks net, Daniluk with 90 seconds to go in the period. Kuznetsov turns ahead to Tom Mealy, gains the red line, and will dump in, going off for a change. Grade behind the Hattricks net. Or the, behind the River Dragons net, rather, will play out to center. Daniluk flags down from center, winds it in on goal, and McBurney will just cover up with 104 left. Uh, Josh, uh, you know, I know uh, just talking about alumni night a few minutes ago, I know you had a chance to uh, walk around the arena with A.J. Galante, the, who was, at the time, the 17- and 18-year-old general manager of the Danbury Trashers, the first professional team here. Uh, you know, what was that experience like? I mean, he's he's a character. Yeah, he he <laughs> has so many interesting memories of this place that is just a different perspective than anyone else has about this building and this city and the hockey in it. It was it was just such a treat to be able to talk to him. The Hattricks play the puck through the goal mouth. He'll be here tomorrow night for the ceremony, and I'm sure he's uh, – I know he's looking forward to it, and he, he loves the – development of hockey in this town yeah. since the Trashers stopped, but it all started back with him and his father, Jim, and Patrick's and the city owe it a lot to them as they come out in front and they score! Ojek out in front, Anderson works his way around the back of the net. Ojek able to chip it over the shoulder of Mac Burney. Ojik gets goal number seven on the season, and the Hattricks lead 3-0. 28.5 yeah. seconds left in the second. That almost looked like he flubbed the shot, Josh. You know, he, it looked like he healed the shot. You know, he was just a couple feet in front of the net. But he got enough of it. It was a, like a knuckleball shot. So McBurney goes flying across the crease, maybe too quickly. 
you know, because he was expecting to, the shot to be harder than it was, but instead it ends up in the net. A huge goal late in the second period, and now a 3 0 hat trick lead. Hat trick's right back to work. Bunnell out in the slot, the shot, he scores! Gordy Bunnell makes it 4 0 hat trick. 16 seconds left and two goals in the final minute of the second period for Danbury. Yeah, it just came, I mean, he wasn't picked up. You know, he comes right down the middle. Nobody picks him up. Ruiz makes the play in the corner yep. to pass the puck out in front. And it, it seemed just like a normal four check. The Hattricks forced it out of play, out of, out of the corner and into yeah. center. That puck out of play off the face off from center ice. That is huge. That is two goals, 14 seconds apart for the Danbury Hattricks. What a way to close out this period. A three goal, well to this point, a three goal second period for Danbury. And now a four nothing lead. And now Brown and Schmidt. Right off the face off. Schmidt's already taken off his helmet. He leads the league in penalty minutes. So this is no surprise here, Josh. Trying to get Columbus fired up. Uh, Couple of fakes on each side, and now they'll engage. Brown throws a huge right and whips on it, and they both go down. Nobody really landing a punch there, but yeah. it will be five for fighting for each of them, and they'll go off to the dressing rooms with 11 seconds left in the period. Yeah, they each had bad intentions there, Josh, but uh, that was much ado about nothing because if now if Brown had connected, that I, I'm, <laughs> that might have been the hardest punch I've ever seen attempted. <laughs> he, he had his, he had a ton of space. He just grabbed on with the left hand and ripped his right arm around. But it was Schmidt able to dodge it. Yeah, Schmidt again leads the league in penalty minutes with 145. And before the game, during warmups, he did very little skating, very little shooting at his own goalie. He was just skating along the red line, glaring across at the hat tricks. Turned into the hat tricks and off the face off, and the horn will sound behind the Danbury net. Four nothing hat tricks after 40 minutes. Three goals in the second period for Danbury, and it was two in the final minute. This game has just a totally different feel than it did with a minute left in the second period. Columbus had been threatening in this period to score a couple power plays. The hat tricks have been in the box all night. Yeah. And it just turns like that, able to get the kills, a couple big saves from DeSalvo. The hat tricks go down the other end and score twice in the last minute. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's two defensive miscues, really, by Columbus. Good plays by Danbury and miscues uh, by Columbus here in the final minute. Because Ojik was left wide open, right in front of the net, just a couple feet in front of McBurney. And then Ruiz makes the good play in the offensive zone, but Bunnell basically flies down the center of the ice, untouched between the circles, to score the fourth goal uh, for Danbury. And if the shots on goal on the scoreboard are correct, they have Danbury for 19 shots on goal through two periods. That would have meant that they scored three goals on five shots in the second period. The power play goal by Anderson, and then even strength from Ojik and Bedell. And Danbury getting outshot 26-19, but up 4-0 on the scoreboard. And as you pointed out, special teams is the difference here. Danbury is 2-for-2 two two on the power play and 5-for-5 five five on the penalty kill so far. Some housekeeping for the three goals in the period for the hat tricks. It was Anderson from Kuznetsov and Jesso. Then Ojek's goal, the only assist to Corey Anderson. The final goal, it was Gordy Bennell from Johnny Ruiz and Nick Levesque. That trio combining to make things happen for the hat tricks. And that chemistry been just so apparent since they got back together earlier this season, coming out here tonight again. We'll head to the third period. It's 4 0. Hat tricks lead the River Dragons, and we will have the final period for you coming up after this.
ceremony at the first intermission of tomorrow's game, and it will be a fun one for sure. The Hattricks will be looking for three more points tomorrow, and they are big games here the rest of this weekend. Can't let off the gas after just the one win here. As you saw last weekend, going on the road, they beat Watertown at home, went on the road, and lost a couple, so have to keep the foot on the gas here to wrap up this series. Absolutely, and, you know, if you're, you know, Columbus, you know, who knows? That's a, that's a long bus trip from Georgia up, up, up to Connecticut. I'm sure that they're going to be a better rested team tomorrow. And let's see, if, you know, what they pose as, as an opponent tomorrow. Let's see what they've got tomorrow. Their five-game winning streak ends tonight. Tomorrow's a new day. Johnny Ruiz, I was talking with him yesterday, and we were talking about the Ring of Honor ceremony and Coach McIsaac, you know, being a big part of it, of course. That's going to take place in the first intermission tomorrow. I asked Johnny about it. He says, you know, listen, we're proud of Coach. We're, we're proud of Mac. We think it's going to be a great night, all the alumni in the building, but we're going to go to work. As players, we're not going to get caught up in ceremonies or anything like that. We're coming here to work. It's about the three points. So that's the mentality for the hat tricks coming into the middle game of the three-game set at home against Columbus tomorrow night. Hattricks and Columbus at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Again, you can get your tickets at danburyhattricks.com for the alumni night game and ceremony. And that will do it here for tonight. The Hattricks with two goals late in the second to extend their lead. Really the turning point here tonight. And they are able to hold on for a 4-1 to one victory in game one of this three-game set with Columbus. For my partner, Jim Cerny, my name is Josh Stark. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. The Hatch